Hi, it's Elizabeth, Countess of Low Carb, and on this episode, we're gonna do keto diet for beginners at Costco. Let's go into Costco and I'll show you what I get. Hey guys, it's Elizabeth, Countess of Low Carb, and on this episode, we're gonna do Costco keto diet for beginners. I have a whole keto Costco keto shopping list for you. All of my keto meals for keto beginners all included in this, but first, if you like this video, smash that like button, make sure you click subscribe, and get your free weekly email of my keto meals for you, keto diet beginners in particular for this specific Costco haul, all around keto diet beginners. So let's dive in, let me show you what I got. So we're gonna focus now on a few of our Costco keto shopping list haul items, and for our easy keto meals, we're going to do keto chicken fingers, a fish bake, steak, um, my Jaja ja hamburgers, as I call them, they're going to be hamburgers with guacamole, eggs, and bacon, and then a couple of other side items to help for your keto lunches to make those with your keto dinners too. So this will all be included down below, but let's go first do all the ingredients for the keto chicken fingers. So this video is in collaboration with Nacine O'Brien. I will put her information down below. I love Nacine's channel because she's the keto mama. She keeps it real. She's a real woman who's lost a lot of weight through the ketogenic diet. Super inspiring. I love her Instagram account as well, but I will link her collab video at her keto Costco haul video down in the description link below. Please go to her channel and put Countess of Low Carb sent me so she knows how many Countess of Low Carbers uh, want to see your video. Put it in her comments over on her video after you watch my video. Now let's dive into our content. So I've done organic party wings before in my air fryer. That's been on another video I've done. I'm not doing it today, but I did want to point out an example for another keto meal. You can get the organic wings and make your own in your air fryer. So next on our keto shopping list is my organic chicken breasts. We're using these for our keto chicken fingers. So get a whole pack of them. They are $4.99 per pound for organic chicken breasts. My bag is $25, $25 for all of these. I'm gonna put that in my Costco grocery shopping haul cart, but um, we're gonna use these for a lot of different meals. So it seems expensive for the $25, but it's gonna stretch a lot for keto on a budget and cheap keto. I will also link below for the whole organic chickens, how to do that in your Instapot. It's not on today's episode. Super simple, super easy. If you have a lot of people in your family and then you do a volume of food, that is a great option and it's really, really inexpensive to do that. So they, so they have different, Costco has different eggs that you can get. I'm gonna go ahead and snag the two dozen cage-free egg version for only $3.50. We're gonna use these for keto hard-boiled eggs and for a couple of other items like our fried chicken, our fish bake, a couple of other things. So I always like to have eggs in our refrigerator for a high protein item. If my keto macros are a little bit low on protein for the day, but remember, keto is high fat, moderate protein, low carb, so having too much protein is not necessarily good for you because it's moderate protein for the ketogenic diet. So go ahead and pick up a package either of the organic one you decide, organic is best, but you are in control of your pocketbook and your budget, um, the organic ground beef or a pack of the hamburger patties. We're going to use those for our Ja Ja uh, keto hamburgers, but get the package of those and put that on your keto shopping list too. So this is not one of my keto items, but I had to stop at these cute Pyrex containers. They are only $17 for all four of these. We did have a Target haul that was a little bit cheaper and I can put those down below, but these are bigger sizes. This is a great Costco keto deal if you're doing meal prep to have these with, because um, it's Pyrex. I love Pyrex's quality and it's on sale for 17 bucks. It looks like the coupon's for $8 off. I totally recommend for your keto meal prep to getting this one too. This is absolutely on my keto shopping list haul. I definitely recommend it. We're gonna use it for a lot of different things and it's high fat, which is a great one for putting it in our Costco shopping cart. 
So I was debating which Zsa Zsa cheese to get, if I should get the blue cheese, but I'm gonna bank on getting the um, Kerrygold grass-fed cheese. It is $10 for this block. It's somewhat deceptive in that it says $5.89 per pound, and it's usually two pounds. So just be mindful of that when you get to the cash register. This is 10 bucks not five bucks <laughs> but I use this because you can freeze cheese you can shred cheese you can use this for a lot of different things and um, I highly recommend it and for $5.89 per pound more grass fed you really can't go wrong they do have an organic brand here too sometimes they have it sometimes they don't today they don't but that could be another option for you as well So for the cheese, if you'll notice for these baby bowels, they were over $7 per pound and the Kerrygold cheese I got was $5. So you're saving some money by just cutting up your own, putting them in reusable containers and making for a cheap, easy keto snack relative to purchasing these. So I'm gonna put these back, um, but I wanted to talk about the cost price comparison. The marketing on this one got me. I normally would get this. I'm not going to today, but it would be a potential great option if you need something for a quick, easy keto meal. You could cook up these sausages. They are organic basil cracked pepper chicken sausages. I'm halfway debating about adding them to my cart. I'm waffling back and forth, so stay till the end when I go home and unpack everything that I purchased. Stay to the end to see if I got it or not. So bacon is definitely on my keto diet for beginner list. We're gonna snag four packs of it and freeze a bunch of them. So I highly recommend the organic rice cauliflower. They do have an individual pack. It's not in the freezer section that you can get if you're just one person, like trying to have a five pound bag of rice cauliflower if you're single may not be the best option. They do have individual packages over in like the pantry aisle, but this is one section. It's only $1.50 per pound for the organic rice cauliflower, which is a good one to get. These are one of my favorite keto snacks. I'm doing an impulse purchase, and so I'm gonna go ahead and get this as one of our keto snacks to add to our cart. So I'm gonna go ahead and snag some of their avocado and guacamole packets. We'll put that into our shopping cart to get some extra good high fats in. Definitely um, one of the things I always get when I come to this Costco, because these, you don't have to wait for your avocado to firm up or ripen um, or get squishy, whatever. You can just get one of these packets to still get your high fat in. their organic spinach. It's only $4 for this huge container and also their organic blackberries are under four bucks. That's definitely something I want to put into my shopping cart. These are going to make for great additions to our meals and keto snacks. If you put this with some high fat like heavy cream, it makes for a great keto dessert. So I'm going to go ahead and put these into my shopping cart. We already have at our house some Costco keto heavy, um, some Costco heavy cream, but this is an option to get their heavy cream here. It's $4 for their quart. It's not organic, but it is a potential option if you're needing some heavy cream. So I've been looking for my pork rinds for my keto chicken finger recipe. I cannot find them. So I'm going to have to punt to my pantry to get my pork rinds for one of my keto meals, but that's okay. That's why we have a pantry full of delicious keto food. But if you know where it is, put in the comments below. I cannot find what section it's in. So I highly recommend their organic bone broth. It's really, really a great price. The ingredients are clean. Costco does a great job with their bone broth. I would recommend this if you need bone broth. 
get it from Costco because it's organic and it's a great price for it too. So if you want their almond flour, this is a great selection to get at only $12.99 per the whole bag. It's only $4.33. It's a great value. I do like getting mine on Amazon, but this could be a potential great one for you if you're trying to make some keto pizzas or making the keto bagel recipe. I have tons of videos on those using this brand, which I highly recommend. Kirkland does a great job and it's really cost effective. I'm not going to get one today but because my pantry is full of it, <laughs> but you should grab one if you need to have extra things in your keto pantry. So Costco's olive section is a great choice. I'm not getting any today, but if you wanted to get a high fat food added into your diet, this would be a wonderful choice of getting their olives. They have a whole diverse, different kind, depending on what kind of olives you like. They definitely should be on your keto shopping list. So Costco's pickles are another great keto snack choice. I'm not getting any today because we just bought a huge thing of this, but I literally drink the juice for my electrolytes. If you're a keto diet beginner, you're going to need to have some sort of supplements for your electrolytes. If you get leg cramps um, or you get dizzy, this would be a great thing to have is chugging your pickle juice. You don't need to buy any expensive items. Pickle juice has the great electrolyte items as does pink salt or molten salt. So this is not on my list, but I did see it. They have whisks here in individual packages as a keto snack. They are $11. They are $11 for 14 bags. That's an option. Of course I say make your own, but sometimes royal weight loss happens. Um, royal weight loss meets real life happens. So making your own may be the best bet, ideally. But if you need to have stuff to grab, noon cheese is another great keto snack. It's only $9.79, and they sell this also at Starbucks for a lot more. So I highly recommend this one as another Costco keto snack idea, or Stacy's Cheese Petites. I haven't looked at the ingredients in these. These can potentially have inflammatory properties, so be mindful of that for your keto snacks. But this is um, 14 pieces is 13 carbs, so this would not be approved. <laughs> I'm putting that one back. <laughs> But the Moon Cheese one, seven, um, $9.79, and it's only one carb for six to seven pieces. So if you need something for a quick grab snack, of course, making your own is best, organic is best, but this potentially could be a great option. So let me go home and show you everything that I got from my Keto Costco haul. Okay, so YouTuber side drama. I almost was asked to leave Costco. Um, it was debatable, so I got out of there before I was asked to leave. I've gone to this Costco about a gazillion time. I've filmed here so many times. I've had hundreds of thousands of views from going to Costco, so I, I, I didn't want to debate them. I just graciously left. So I still have some things on my list that I will show you from home that I'm going to change out instead, and you're going to see some editing involved. So uh, be gracious with me. I almost got thrown out in the name of Keto. Costco <laughs> YouTube video, um, but uh, hopefully I'll be invited back next time. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I'm diverting my eyes, but let me go home and show you everything that I got and what I'm substituting in that needs to be on your keto shopping list. Okay, I am back from my Costco keto shopping haul. Got all my keto foods and keto goodies. I'm really excited to show you, even though phew, I almost got kicked out. <laughs> hopefully they'll let me come back. But I digress. Let me show you everything for your easy keto meals. The first thing we're going to do is my favorite that I'm pumped about. And again, make sure you sign up and get down below in the description link, the email with the keto shopping list, the keto meals, the keto recipes, everything is in that one page. So the first thing we're going to do is our keto chicken nuggets or keto chicken fingers. You need the organic chicken breast. Again, I always give the disclaimer, grass fed is best, organic is best, but do the best you can afford. No guilt, shame, condemnation. I did get the organic chicken breast. I'm gonna cut those up. We're gonna do an egg wash. So of course I got eggs for the egg wash. And then we will fry it in bacon grease, leftover bacon grease from our bacon purchase, which I'll show in a minute. You can mash up pork rinds and mix it together with some Parmesan cheese. I did not purchase these, the pork rinds, in the Parmesan because we have this at home in our keto pantry. But for your keto ingredients that you'll need, you'll need pork rinds. Or 
My other substitute that I like to use is pork panko. I love pork panko. I get it from Amazon, which I will link down below. Using Bacon Air, they make this brand. It's good, it gets shipped to you. To me, there's a textural taste difference between this and if you ground up your own pork rinds. You do whatever is best for you. For me, I'm gonna use the pork panko for my fried chicken, my, my chicken finger coating with it. It makes for an awesome meal. And I'm gonna show you in part three of this video how you flash freeze it. So you make it now, we're gonna make do the keto meal prep for it and then make it um, so you can eat off of it for weeks and weeks and weeks to come in your freezer how you flash freeze it. The second thing that I got for my keto meals and I'm pumped about was, bum bum bum, fish. We got some fish, we're gonna do a fish bake. We're also going to do um, on the grill and then also a way to freeze it for future meals too. There's gonna be an awesome way I do this. It was $7.99 per pound for this. Um, so I'm pumped about it. And the lady next to me was gonna have it as sushi. She was telling me how she was gonna mix it with wasabi sauce, super, super nice lady. So I'm gonna make this, cut it up. It was $22 for this huge thing um, of, uh, what, and I've ended up getting wild, um, fresh wild Atlantic cod. They have other farm-raised ones. I don't get farm-raised fish because apparently that's not good, but educate me down below if you have any fish tips. That was one of my questions for you guys. Do you have any fish tips? So next is, um, so that was meal number, we did our chicken fingers, and then our fish bake. We're gonna do that two different ways so you can have some choices. Number three was gonna be our keto steaks. Um, those are simple. You can grill those on your cast iron skillet or on your grill. Um, I didn't get to purchase any of their New York strips or ribeyes because we get a monthly CSA of our meat from a grass-fed local farmer, but you would get those. They're about $10 per steak. It's a huge meal. Probably if you're not doing intermittent fasting, you could have half of that steak, the $10 steak for lunch and the other half for dinner and be very, very full and content and happy. And it's an easy keto meal to do. The next thing that we had, so meal number four choice was going to be our Zsa Zsa keto burgers. They think, ah, keto burger or whatever. I gave two options for the beef, the organic grass fed beef that they had or just the regular patties that they already had pre-made. Again, we get our grass fed, I'm looking at our freezer right over there. We get our grass fed beef from a local farmer. So I just make patties from that. If you are in the Shenandoah Valley, Virginia area or Northern Virginia area, I will put it down below because they're an awesome grass fed farmer. So for those burgers, I did end up getting, whoop, as I drop everything, my um, Kerrygold grass fed cheese. This was $10 for the block, but y'all, I'm gonna freeze this. You'll see in part three, how I freeze it, how I shred it, how I get my cheese block all set up. It will save money um, and prevent creepy carbs in shredded cheese. Um, they put an anti-clumping agent in it. So I will show you how to do that on part three of this, but this will be used on top, like a, a chunk of it, um, on top of our keto burgers as is our high fats with our guacamole. I will put this on top of our salads. So I did get some organic spinach to make salads with with each meal. You could use it with an olive oil dressing and apple cider vinegar dressing or ranch or blue cheese dressing. Um, Primal does have a great no soybean oil dressing recipe like for ranch and blue cheese. If you do use ranch or blue cheese, be conscious of the inflammation from soybean oil in those products. This though, I love because look how many are in there, A. You get a whole, you can freeze these. Y'all told me I could freeze my avocados or my um, guacamole. So you can freeze these, which is great. So we're gonna use this on top of our burger for some extra fats. When in doubt of needing extra fats, I love punting to avocado or guacamole. These are simply, um, what is in here? It has two net carbs for one of these containers, which is great, right? So for avocados, I have an avocado rotation video where they're usually over there, but sometimes even if you're a good planner, your avocados don't work out. So having these on hand for me makes it for really simple keto. Then I also did get four packs of bacon. 
um, that we're gonna use some of the bacon for our burgers, but also in part three of this series of our Costco Keto um, meal prep video, I'm gonna show you how to use the grease to make our chicken fingers. Like we're using everything, folks. We're really using everything. And we're gonna freeze some of these packets to use for future dates. So this doesn't go to waste. They have different types of bacon. Check out Dr. Barry's uh, cured, he talks about nitrates in cured and uncured meat if you have concerns about that. Next, I did get, I did get, that was my question, was I gonna get it or not? I did get these. They are keto organic basil and cracked black pepper smoked chicken sausages. I just thought they're so dang cool. I'm going to freeze them and use them at a future date since I already have like my meal prep figured out. It's one carb per one link, 16 grams of protein, nine grams of fat. I don't count calories, but the calories were 160 grams. It looks cool. And the marketing, hello, they said on the marketing they are for keto friendly and it's pork free. So for people who don't eat pork, that is a potential option as well. Next, I got my delicious basil pesto. Ah, you can put this on top of your Zsa, Zsa burger. You can put it on top of anything. In every single Costco keto video I have, I always talk about basil pesto because I love it so much. Just have, just have this in your pantry because let's talk about the macros on it. It is five net carbs for a fourth of a cup or nine carbs depending on how you count. Fat is 30 grams of fat for a fourth of a cup and six grams of protein. I love it. I love basil and I love Costco's. I feel like they have the best basil pesto. So that's on my list for sure. Some of y'all are gonna ask about my Parmesan cheese. Of course, having it, these are chemically laden. Like if it's in this container, it's chemically laden. I just happened to have it and was going to use it so it didn't go bad. But shredding your own Parmesan cheese for your chicken fingers, wherever that is, would be the best bet for that. Um, and then the final, and then the final couple things I got was my organic blackberries. My little boy loves berries. So I got these for him. The organic, it was under four bucks for this whole container, which is 12 ounces. I thought it was a pretty good deal for organic blackberries. And if we don't eat them all, I will freeze them and use them for a future date, but I suspect they'll go pretty quickly in our refrigerator. When I eat berries, and I usually only have maybe one, two, three, four, like, not that many. Sometimes I see people having like a full cup of berries. That's a lot in terms of carbs and sugar. Um, so I usually, if I want something sweet, I will only have a few, but I'll mix it in my mixture with heavy cream to add some high fats to it or with some butter and heavy cream to make it a higher fat item. Then the final thing I got was these. I love these for just life. This is Royal Weight Loss Meets Real Life. I do like making my own salami and cheese packages in reusable glass Pyrex containers, but I just don't have time sometimes. So I like having these on hand for my little boy if he needs a snack and um, they're easy, they're good. And in terms of macros, this whole container is zero carbs, zero sugar, eight protein, seven grams of fat for one ounce, which is this whole piece in the back. That's the whole thing. And they're easy, right? Like, that's just an easy thing to have. It's expensive, relatively speaking, versus making our own, um, but that is an option. Under all of these, at the very bottom of all of these things, you'll see, and you dig it under here, is my eggs. We will make hard boiled eggs out of these. You can do it in the Instapot, you can do it in your good old stove, however you wanna do it. I want to have some extra hard boiled eggs on hand from my little boy, he's going through a growth spurt and is hungry all the time. So having more protein for him, for me, keto, not for me, but in general, keto is high fat, moderate protein, low carb. I frequently see people having too much protein. So check your personal macros. If you don't know how to track your macros, I will put that in a link below. But I did wanna have on hand some eggs because you can make egg salad out of it. Like you can make cheap keto meals, a lot of them from this if you don't have time to do all my meal prep, right? But this is simple. My meal preps are easy. Like literally, I live a busy life like you do. So I like to keep it super, super simple. So if you found this video helpful, make sure you share it with a friend. Make sure that you get um, the shopping list that goes with that and all of the recipes and check out part one with the shopping list and part three in this series of how do I actually daggone cook all this stuff? How do I do the keto meal prep? It's gonna be good with the chicken fingers and also with the fish bake. I'm super pumped for the fish bake, to be honest. I may or may not be putting my basil on my fish bake. 
so good. This, y'all, this is so easy. If you really want ease, ease in your life, it tastes really good too. Really, really good. So um, I'm pumped. This is, I gotta put all these things away now. So let me go put all my groceries away. If you found this video helpful, make sure you smash that like button, make sure you click subscribe and sign up for my free weekly Wednesday keto meal plan. This week's edition is the Costco keto haul that I have for all things keto, all things Costco. See you next video. Bye-bye. So make sure you go check out Nacine O'Brien's Keto Costco haul video, the collab video that we're doing together. It's down in the description link below so you can go check that out and see what she got. I bet you it's different. I'm super curious to see and put in her comments, Countess of Low Carbs at me.